Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, especially about the 2023 presidential election held in Nigeria on February 25, 2023, and the result announced on March 1, 2023. And as Wadibola Metinubu was declared the winner, but the result of the, the controversial election is being challenged in the courts. Right now, at the presidential election petition tribunal, from where it will move to the Supreme Court. And as far as most Nigerians are concerned, the, nobody knows, uh, nobody can say with certainty who won the 2023 presidential election, okay, until the Supreme Court rule. Because many people, most Nigerians, believe that P2B won the election. But it has to be announced by the Supreme Court, yeah, and he has to prove it in the court. So all Nigerians are waiting. Most Nigerians are waiting to see what the court will say, whether they will agree with these Nigerians and the evidence that P2B presented in the court that he won the election. So that is that is by, that's by the way. But this matter that is in court has uh, has been of interest to Nigerians. In fact, no presidential election petition has captured the attention and the imagination of Nigerians like the the one we are witnessing right now in the country. The one we are witnessing now in the country is the most anticipated court judgment ever in Nigeria's history. A whole lot of people are paying attention to it. People want to know how it will end. And uh, somebody recently said that the peace you see in Nigeria right now is because people are waiting for the courts to really tell them what is going on. It is because they are having a hope in the courts. That is why many people are maintaining peace. That's what people are, some people are saying. But in any case, Nigerians are peaceful people. Whatever is the outcome, I can tell you for free, Nigerians will move on and re-strategize for the next round of elections. Now, one issue that has played out is the issue of corruption in the judiciary. Now, a Twitter user and uh, called Jason Ude has alleged that the former uh, justice of the of the Supreme Court and the former and the wife of the former governor of uh, River State, uh, Justice Mary Audley, retired. That she she is allegedly uh, working. liaising with, with the justices of the appeal uh, courts that are handling the election petition tribunal and the Supreme Court to work, uh, to allegedly work in favor of Aswadibola Metinubu. It was a very weighty allegation, uh, but it, uh, the important thing is that Mary Audley has vehemently, in a statement she released, denied such, uh, uh, being part of such an illegality, okay? And uh, she has threatened to deal, to unleash her own lawyers against uh, that, that, this uh, Jackson Uday that did the reports or that spread the, uh, the fake news as far as uh, Justice Mary Audley retired is concerned. Mary Audley has denied it. She, she said that she was not involved in any, she's not involved in any of the election matters and she's not interested whether any, anything that has to do with the election. She has never been interested 
in it, and she had never worked for anybody. She has never worked as a consultant in any shape or form. I think her statement, if you read it, you know that she is really an angry woman. But it's all got to show you how tense the situation has gotten about this uh, uh, the ruling that Nigerians are waiting for from the court. They have gotten to the level where there is accusation and counter accusations. And that is largely because the judiciary in Nigeria has, for in recent times, passed judgments that uh, has uh, judgment that have left much to be desired. Because ordinarily, the judiciary is supposed to be the last hope of the common man. But now you can see how a respected just, retired justice like Odele is being dragged into speculations about compromising the outcome of the, uh, of the election petition. It's, it's very sad, but it's, it's an indication of lack of confidence that many people have against the judiciary. Yet, strangely, they are still looking up to it to tell them who won the election. Because it means that they are, they are not totally oblivious of the fact that the judiciary, there may be bad eggs in it. There are many there who can deliver justice based on evidence, based on the rule of law based on the constitution, based on the facts before them. There are still many Nigerians who believe that the judiciary can redeem the country's democracy, that the judiciary can save our democracy. But there are also many who felt that justice in Nigeria is for the highest bidder, that the common man or anybody who is aggrieved has no chance except he's in a vintage position to be able to uh, compromise the justices. That is where he can be sure of getting justice. This same uh, Jackson Ude, who was accused of spreading fake news against uh, Justice Melly Odile retired, has also come under hammer because he also made a statement alleging that the governor of Kogi State was also trying to compromise the judicial. You know, these are all wild allegations that he has not been able to substantiate it. And of course, Several groups have come up in defense of the governor of Benue, of uh, Kogi State. And uh, they have also, like Odele, they have also threatened to take this uh, Jackson Ude to court. But what is what all this shows, what all this show is that there is trust deficit on our judiciary. Do you remember there was this allegation that there was a, a telephone conversation between the Chief Justice of Nigeria and President Bola Tinubu. That also forced the, the Chief Justice or the Supreme Court to issue a statement to deny that anything of such happened. I hope you remember that. The Supreme Court have to issue a statement to deny that any, any such conversation ever happened. Even earlier than that, there was also rumors that uh, Arewala, that the Chief Justice of Nigeria, shadowed a meeting 
abroad or even met abroad allegedly with Bolame Tinubu. That also was denied. Statement was also issued by the Supreme Court to deny that. So all these are symptoms of trust deficit in our judiciary. So how are we going to, how is the country going to maneuver its way out of this quagmire? Because from all indications, Unless the Supreme Court, or whatever the court eventually rules, Nigerians will accept it because they have no choice. But I can tell you for free, with all these speculations going around, any, any verdict that was given that Nigerians did not feel satisfied with it. It will be difficult to convince them that justice was served and that justice was not bought. That's the way I look at the, what is developing right now. And the only way to solve this problem is for the judiciary to be cognizant, to take cognizance of all this tension in the country, of all this unusual interest in their verdict to do the right thing, to ensure that justice is served, to ensure that the mess in the 2023 presidential election is corrected and the court has the capacity to do so they have done it in the past they can do it again they corrected the mess that was done in governorship election in Anambra state in 2003 in which Peter will be of the then ABGA or progressive grand alliance won an election and the PDP stole it the Supreme Court restored him. Oshomole, under AC, ACN or so, won election. PDP stole it in a door. The Supreme Court restored him. In uh, the same thing that has happened in uh, Oshun State, where the ACN won an election. And the PDP stole it. The Supreme Court restored it. The list, I can keep, keep on going on. I can keep on going on with where the Supreme Court redeemed the situation. So Nigerian Supreme Court, Nigerian courts have the capacity to deliver justice. Nigerian judiciary can save our democracy, despite all the rumors and everything. Let's have confidence, but let us also continue to put pressure on them by insisting that they do the right thing, that let them know that Nigerians are watching them, so that whatever verdict they are going to give on the election, they must be able to defend it by the point of law by evidence and everything else so that even before man and God, their action, their verdict will be justified. And that is the only way to save our democracy. And that is the only way to restore confidence in our judiciary. Because Truth be told, after Senator Goswil Akabio and Senator Ahmed Lawa contested for presidential ticket of the APC and returned back to get senatorial tickets, and the Supreme Court allowed that, many people have, have not been happy 
many people lost confidence. But whatever may be the reason that made the justices of the Supreme Court to allow it to happen, many people still believe that perhaps the Supreme Court will use this opportunity to redeem itself to the glory of the of the country so that our democracy will mature and become stronger and that it will become obvious that you can get justice without having been highly connected or being a rich person or being the richest person in the country in your party, in your community, that everybody, that the, indeed the, the judiciary is the last hope of the common man. It can be done. What we are facing now is an opportunity for the judiciary to do the right thing. Let us give them a chance. Let us support them. Let us continue to hope that they will do the right thing in the interest of the country and in the interest of their, their themselves because when you use if they allow miscarriage of justice it means that they will create the environment for insecurity and all kinds of things in the country injustice because there are many people who believe that Nigeria is insecure today because of injustice that have not been addressed. The judiciary can help us to restore security. They can help us to restore our democracy. They can help us to make our country proud again as the biggest democracy in Africa and one of the biggest democracies in the world. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, I hit the notification bell. Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, God will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.